What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got the Dell Optiplex. Yes, back again, but remember we didn't do any benchmarks previously and today is the day. So this is about the fourth video I've covered on this exact Dell Optiplex. So if you guys haven't checked out the previous videos to see where we're at right now, definitely go check those out after this video. But today we are most interested in how well does all these great big upgrades that we threw into it in the previous video translate to gaming performance. Let's go. So before we get into the benchmarks, let's quickly talk about what we've done so far to this Dell Optiplex to get it ready for some high performance gaming. And being that it's a mostly pre-built system, there isn't a ton to cover. So this should go pretty quick. Starting off with the system itself, I scooped up this Dell Optiplex 9020 from eBay for get this, just $25. Now that did include another $25 in shipping to bring the total to $50, albeit that $50 for an entire system, still pretty darn dirt cheap. And if you go look at eBay right now, they're going in and about to that price. So definitely go check them out. Now the idea here was to put as many reasonable upgrades as possible into this Dell Optiplex. So I had to ditch the i5 that originally came with and go with an i7. And what I found was a perfect fit for this system is an i7 4790, again bought from eBay for just $40. The main idea here with doing the CPU upgrade is mostly focused on just making sure that we get away from any potential CPU bottlenecks that given this old i5 and only four little cores, we're probably gonna run into if we didn't upgrade. And speaking of removing bottlenecks, there was no question I had to upgrade the RAM as well. Eight gigs is what the system came with from the original purchase, but the typical good standard here is to have at least 16 gigs RAM minimum in any gaming system. And I'm happy to report that yet again was another simple and easy purchase from eBay. $20 for an additional eight gigs to fill it out to a total of 16. That was a super simple and easy and cost-effective upgrade. Now onto the main component that will uplift our gaming performance to the next level, and that be the GPU. What we got here is an RX 6600 XT from PowerColor that I snagged yet again on eBay for just $190. Now the big thing I was targeting here with this GPU was something that was of a good solid middle ground GPU that had a lot of performance uplift over the simple little one that we installed previously in the previous videos, not require a huge amount of power, and also balance well with this older i7. Now, don't get me wrong, I think it would have been pretty cool to throw a big old 4090 in there, but let's be reasonable. That is just ludicrous. Not only is it not cost effective, because I don't have the money to throw around for something like that, but it would create a bottleneck nightmare with that CPU. It just simply is way too much. We are after reasonable stuff here. Reasonable, guys. Now to make all of this work, we needed to get the stock Dell Optiplex power supply out of there and go with something that would provide more juice. And what I landed on here was a 550 watt bronze unit from Thermaltake. This is the perfect power supply for the job. It provides enough juice, it's semi-modular to save some internal space, and it's a tier C unit. However, I did run into some caveats and yes, that was covered very deeply on the previous video. So definitely make sure you go check that out. I think if I were to do it over, I would choose a different power supply because this one is a little bit large for the job. However, it did work as you can see. But speaking of caveats also, there are a few other things not related to the power supply that I'm not really gonna cover here. I just wanna make sure I make mention of that. Definitely go check out the video where I cover all that stuff in an exclusive video of how to do all these upgrades. So that covers everything guys. From start to finish, buying the Dell Optiplex, doing all the upgrades, we're looking at a total investment cost of $335, which I think I'm going to be, well, pretty darn stunned with the price to performance. So speaking of that, let's queue up those benchmarks and see how well this Optiplex will do.
Alrighty guys, so there we have it, and I'd have to say I'm pretty much pooped out on Dell Optiplex videos. This has been four videos on this exact machine here. It's been a fun little saga, but I'm gonna give it a rest, at least maybe till towards the end of the year. We'll check back on how Dell Optiplex of 10 to 12 years old is still holding up towards the end of the year. A couple things to mention too. One, as you, if you did pay attention or sit through the entire video in the benchmarks, I thought a title like Modern Warfare 2 would have been playable, and it just simply isn't. It's just too much for this system to handle, even with a modern 6600 XT GPU. The GPU is a bit too much probably for this system anyway, but I thought maybe with the i7 we'd be able to get by simply running into the same issue that we ran into when we just slapped a basic GPU into this system and went away. It's just a little too much. So modern titles, even with good graphics cards with older Dell Optiplexes, I would say Prepare to be disappointed if that's what you're after and think that you might be able to get out of one. But however, the idea here is building something up on a budget to get gaming cheap and also have a good upgrade path. So we did some upgrades and everything played out perfectly. Besides the Modern Warfare 2 title, we picked up tons of performance across all the titles, all the averages went up, and most importantly, the things that you would really feel is the 1% and 0.1% lows, which really drive issues there if you're gonna feel a particular frame stutter or whatever. So. Very good improvements overall across the board. I think this is about the max you could probably take one of these Dell Optiplexes. Putting any more GPU into it is just gonna create a further CPU bottleneck and a less playable experience. So take it at that. This is something to model after if you guys want a fully maxed out Dell Optiplex within reason, obviously, you know, we're, we're, not, we're not in the market of putting in crazy GPUs. We are trying to target something that is reasonable to the pocket and to the system itself. However, if you do like Dell Optiplex content, well, I got plenty of it for you on my YouTube channel. I've collected a playlist of all the videos that we've done on this machine, as well as some other machines that we've done in the past. So if you want some examples of what to chase as far as doing your own upgrades, check those videos out. They'll be up here on the screen. Like I said, I think for now, I'm gonna give the Dell Optiplex content a little bit of a break and move on to some more interesting content because I've got a lot that I've got to get taken care of here pretty soon. Thanks for tuning into this one though, guys. I appreciate your time and I will catch you in the next one.